Hi guys, welcome today from the backyard and uh, what I have in my hands, this is the Lee Armory uh, AK-74 basically, this is how the rifle ships, so whatever you have on it, what you're seeing on it uh, is the, exactly how I received that rifle. Rifle was purchased from the Copper Customs, extremely fast uh, service and I had the rifle basically in uh, 24 hours. So uh, very good shipping and I'm extremely happy with their service. Now uh, to the rifle. Rifle is made from the Bulgarian parts kit and then you have of course the Fighter 24 which is also used by uh, Lee Armory and this is the US made part. Then you have of course the Tapco trigger and uh, the pistol grip. Magazine, it ships with the magazine. This is kind of rare, uh, interesting uh, black uh, Ismash magazine for the 545. Then let me bring the, all the goodies. Uh, they include the magazine pouch. In the magazine pouch you have original sling and the speed loader uh, for loading the rounds uh, to the magazines if you have them on the strips. But that all ships with uh, the rifle and of course there is a warranty, warranty card. This is the lifetime, lifetime warranty from the uh, Lee Armory. Uh, the <coughs> rifles sold at the Copper Customs are made on the Childers receiver uh, and uh, this is a very nice receiver. So this is this is rifle outside looks uh, very nice. Uh, finish is, I think it's a night rided finish. They did a good job. Uh, everything is looking very decently made outside and I like the coating for sure. Uh, barrel, it's a US made 4150 uh, night rided barrel. Uh, that's what I think so it is. If I made a mistake, I will correct myself, but I think so it's a 4150 Night Rider uh, barrel. Uh, from the basic cosmetics, when looking down the line of the rifle, I'll tell you right away that the front post is a little bit tilted, and as you can see, the drum is extended. I didn't even shot that rifle yet, and uh, I think so that the rear uh, side post is tilted to the right as well but we'll dive in underneath of the rifle and uh, we'll see what's happening let me go quickly over the rivets from we'll start from rear moving forward so this one is looking good uh, the rail looking good this one is looking good that one could be a little bit better uh, you hopefully you're seeing a high resolution pictures but you can see this is the trillion rivet the barrel pane yeah it's okay uh, and on the other side, again, this rivet is kind of funky, nothing alarming, but you know, if I have seen better rivets, <laughs> but nothing alarming, that one is looking kind of okay too, no loose rivets here. Uh, the receiver is marked, again, uh, you got the mark for the full auto and for the semi-auto. So, as you can see, three positions, uh, that's kind of cool touch uh, if you want to, you know, replicate a little bit uh, the feeling of the original rifles. All right, so on the river sides, rivets sides, I think we're looking kind of okay here. How is the trigger guard? This is all looking good and the magazine, magazine catch release is looking good too. As I talk about it already, the magazines, they are lacking very nicely. There is, you know, there is some wobbling, but that's normal on the AK rifle, uh, but they are lacking nicely and they work fine. All right, uh, the stock, uh, stock appears to be an original Bulgarian surplus uh, stock, nothing special polymer stock, and there is no opening for the cleaning kit. All right, again, this is how the rifle shipped. Now let me pop the hood and the ribbed uh, dust cover inside the receiver. All right, the recoil spring was renew it very nicely everything is looking cool it's oiled by them i didn't even touch that rifle yet so this is looking good and inside the receiver i will tell you right away they're using the uh, retention plate for the trigger pins again nice touch uh, is wow look at that they did some work they did some work on the trigger hammer i will tell you that the trigger hammer was polished and it wasn't polished by me uh, and the, the work had to be done by the lee armory uh, guys 
uh, inside the receiver also they using a uh, steel uh, grip nut so they don't use uh, like some other uh, manufacturers they put this uh, tapco plastic grip nut nuts uh, and i hate them with passion so uh, but the trigger is polished they did some extensive work on it it will be interesting to see how that trigger is working you know let me shoot it cock it release it uh, it's a nice break that's a good job on the trigger all right let me pull out the bolt carrier and see what we have here as far as the bolt uh, goes and as you can see everything was basically renewed by uh, Lee Armory and recoated uh, this is all looking good this looks like almost unused bolt to me to be honest with you that extractor claw is basically brand new so and the bolt let me check the numbers so we have uh, numbers yep the extractor claw is numbered bolt is numbered do we have a numbers yep the the bolt carrier is numbered and all the numbers are matching so far and then the trunion is matching as well so that's again a nice touch for those who are looking into those uh things uh, there is no wobbling on the piston head and the piston head is clean so there you go this is how the rifle shipped uh, and you have some machining marks in the channel for the bolt no damage let me say this again there's absolutely no damage on the tail of the bolt carrier this looks like absolutely non-used or very lightly used kit which they scored so we'll put this on site uh, the, as far as the bullet guide, everything here is looking good uh, and the trunion is looking nice too. There, is, uh, there are some marks on the edge of the trunion on the right side, but that's rather common on the AK rifles. All the surfaces are as they should be. And let me look inside the chamber and this is all looking cool uh, inside the chamber. Uh, as far as the... let me pull out the the trigger guard not the trigger guard uh, what i'm talking about the gas tube and the uh there you go this is a gas tube and uh, actually the top of the gas tube there is a sticker made in bulgaria so this is i was incorrect this this appears to be a bulgarian furniture on this rifle and the gas tube is looking uh, like they did the uh, you know re renovation on it as well it's looking good to me here and the lower handguard has the basic heat shield uh, but we all know that if you uh, start making a lot of magazine dumps no matter what they have it will become hot uh, inside the gas block the gas block is looking perfectly clean and nice as i said this rifle was in use guys i mean um, not the rifle but the parts kit was in use because it's extremely clean and uh, there are no well, usual wear marks like you're seeing on some of the uh, cleaning kits pretty much that's it what i'm seeing here guys one more look oh i promise you to have a better look at that rear side post and yes you can see clearly the rear side uh block post is tilted to, i mean this block is tilted to the right side and it's touching the uh, edge over here and here on the left side we do have a gap and uh, the front post is tilted as well so that happens uh, we'll see how this rifle is going to zero as i said i didn't have a even chance to shoot it yet uh, but let me put back the gas tube and we'll try to rack few more magazines on it and see how this is going to do okay okay the uh, one more test all about some magazines we got more magazines right now so this is your classic polymer magazine how it's locking up it was a little bit tight to fit but nothing special here we got the polish steel 545 magazine that one locked perfectly fine into that receiver and finally we have a 45 rounder from the tula and this is a backlight magazine and all those magazines locked perfectly fine there is slight wobbling on it but nothing to be alarmed about last more test let me pull the action and squeeze the trigger and do it again action is actually nice i had smoother rifles before but there is nothing to be ashamed 
on that rifle. It's actually very nice and I really love how the trigger breaks in. They did the outstanding job on that trigger. So there you go guys. Please let me know if you have any questions about the Lee Armory AK-74. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon with the footage from the farm.